Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know that I've been promising you guys my complete stash of K's video, um, K scented wax melts, in case you guys don't know. K's is a very, very popular wax vendor. Carla owns it. Connie helps her. Uh, Carla Meredith. Um, she's down in Missouri. She's awesome. I've talked about her so many times and I don't even know like the words to describe how much I really, you know, respect her. I feel like her and I are somewhat friends at this point. Um, I think she makes everybody feel like that though, because she's just so personable and so good at, um, communication and doing things that people want and need and ask for. And she's just such a great owner and vendor. Um, I've said before that I feel like Kay's is a really good vendor to start with in the vendor wax world because she sells a lot of wax in single oils. And not only that, you can make customs at any point in time. And I'll show you that here a little bit. Um, and then you can also buy things in very small amounts to just test out. So, and I'll kind of show you that as we go here. Um, she, just about any oil that I have seen, um, at, with other vendors, almost not all, but very, very close. You can find with K. Um, so if there's something that you can't get a hold of from another vendor, you can get something at least similar, um, from her at any time of the year. So I don't even know this is all my K's. I like went through my wax really quickly and I, I think it is. I'm going to have to go through these really fast, you guys, because this, I have to pick up my kids in 45 minutes and I hope 45 minutes will be long enough <laughs> to get through this. Um, I still have two boxes that I did hauls on that I haven't even put away yet. So, um, if these two boxes, if you guys want to hear more in depth about these scents, you can go to my most recent hauls, but every single case thing that I've gotten that I'll show you here is within one of my hauls. And I have my playlists, um, per vendor up. I, a few people say that they can't see my playlist and I don't know why every time I push playlists, I can see all of mine. I can add my videos to my playlists. Um, my channel's public, so I don't know what else to do if you can't see my playlist. I don't know. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm literally just going to start picking up stuff here, guys. Okay. So when I talk to you guys about customs, she does a few different types of customs. She does loaves, rose loaves, and cuts. And I think she does decorative loaves too, but I think we're not doing that right now during COVID because they take more time. But these are what her cuts look like. These are the half ounce sizes. You can also get them in one ounce size cuts. And this bag is the eight ounce size. You can also get six, excuse me, 16 ounces. So this first one uh, is a recent custom that I made called Heart of Fall. And it's sugar, waffle cones, uh, cranberry woods, and vanilla swirl. Um, the next one I have is Haunted House Season. My favorite custom I've ever made with her. This is apple, clove, butter, fallen leaves, and pumpkin pecan waffles. I actually have in my most, most recent haul, two more bags of that because it's so good. Um, date night on a yacht. And this is Yacht Club, Soleil Blanc, uh, and Sea Island Cotton. Twisted Over You. I actually got 16 ounces in this one. And this is her Midnight Waters, such a good oil. Aqua de Gio and Sand and S'mores, 16 ounces of that. Um, if you love coffee, she has a nice house blend called Tristan's Toffee Coffee. That's what this one is. Desert Sun. This is actually a custom by Tashawn. Um, she's makeup lover with some numbers after it on IG. She made this one of my very favorite customs from another person ever. Uh, Cactus and Sea Salt, Tumbleweed and Terracotta. Uh, and this is just an oil that she, uh, that Carla sells, tobacco leaf and amber. I love it so much. I got it in her cuts. And then I will go into the cuts that I've had from the past. Ooh. All right, let's do it. <laughs> uh, one of my more recent customs is Paulo at the library. And this is Paulo Santo Yacht Club and Prince Albert. Prince Albert is another one of her tobacco blends. Oh, so good. Um, Summer Baby is one of my more recent customs as well. And this is her Malibu Rum, Rum Cupcakes, Lemon Pound Cake, and Honeyed Pineapple. Oh, one of my very favorite blends of, like, nighttime blends is her Blue Fluffy, 
fluffy pillows and this one throws very intensely. This is one of my older ones from her. This is just her Dove soap oil. Really strong, really good. Um, it would be great in a custom blend, but by itself, this smells like a bag of Dove soap. So good. Uh, another more recent custom, Bum Bastic Beach. Orange Blossom Bum Bum, or Boom Boom, and Swedish Dream Salt. Love that one. This was one of my customs from last summer. This is when she got the Swedish Dream Salt was a newer oil to her. This is Hibiscus Palm, Swedish Dream Salt, and Tumbleweed and Terracotta. And I called it Desert Oasis, you guys. Oh, so good. So, so good. One of my very first customs with her, I have just a couple pieces left. This is one that she poured extra of and sent like little samples to other people. And a ton of people really liked this one. Um, I should just make it again because I loved it so much. Anyways, this is her cool water cologne type, her peppermint stick, and her lavender number two. So think of like a very aquatic men's cologne, peppermint and lavender. It's amazing. Oh, I only have a tiny bit left. Um, one of my more recent ones as well. This one's called Sprung. And this is Raindrops, Grapefruit, Mangosteen, and Heavenly Honeysuckle. This smells like spring. And that's exactly what I want it to smell like. This is a bag of just her plain Boom Boom. I, I got a couple cups of it and I really enjoyed it. So I got some more. Uh, this is a custom called Blackberry Earth. And this is Blackberry Frankincense, Blackberry Sugared Violets, and Black Currant Absinthe. So I like all of these oils, but if you have not tried her blackberry frankincense, you must. I really like her blackcurrant absinthe as well, but oh man, the blackberry frankincense, you have to try that oil. Um, oh, <laughs> it's torn. This is also one of my oldest um, bags of hers. This was just a larger amount of her peppermint stick. I'm a huge mint fan. Her peppermint stick is the strongest, just pure peppermint scent that she has. I really like it. I really enjoy it. I use this to blend with a lot of things, and sometimes I just melt it by itself. Um, oh, I think this is actually my very, was this my, this was my very, very first custom ever in the wax world, period. This is, yeah, <laughs> December 14th, 2019. Um, White Clouds, Tassie Lavender, and Barbershop 1920s. Um... I should probably get to melting that because there's not, it's kind of probably losing scent a little bit, but this is a very nice custom. Um, this one actually, I kind of got some inspiration from, um, Sasha cause she was doing a lot of blends like this at the time. So, and then this was, is one of her rose loaves that I have chopped up in just one of her single scent oils. Um, I actually posted on my Instagram recently about chopping it. So this is kind of, you can see, Ooh, that light's really bright. Like it's a bunch of little roses on the top and like stems on the bottom. And this is in her teakwood and coconut oil. You guys do not underplay this oil. It's so strong and so good. And then I just have two more cut, cut bags. Um, if you guys did not know, one of my very favorite bath and body work scents ever is midnight pomegranate. And she has this oil. And it's really nice. I love melting this one on a summer night because it's really juicy, but I love the depth of Midnight Pomegranate. Um, also, do not underestimate that oil. And then one more soap oil. Okay, ha Carla has the soap oils, and I love soap. Caress Daily Silk. I used this potty wash, like, all by itself for quite a long time, and it's so funny. I love this scent so much that when I was younger, like in my early 20s, I would get like an old body spray bottle and put some of the, literally you guys, put some of the body wash in it, mix it with some alcohol and water and spray it on for body spray. Why doesn't Caress just make body spray in that scent? Hmm? I don't know. But I love Caress Daily Silk so much. And this one, you guys, um, it throws like crazy. I put like half of one of these half ounce melts in like a bathroom wall warmer and that thing is like a 10 out of 10. So good. Um, I think it was Susan Fitzpatrick that I was talking to on YouTube last week about how much we love soap scents and yeah, so much. I love soap scents. Okay. So that was all my cuts. Um, 
Guys, I'm gonna have to go fast on these on the cups that she has that I have because I have so many. So just I will just show you. This is a two ounce cup, okay? And then this is a one ounce cup. So I'm not gonna explain to you the different weights. I'm just gonna tell them to you. Let me just pour them all in here and then we'll go from there. Um, nutmeg and spice. Amazing. Nutmeg and spice. Nutmeg and spice. Her regular coffee, which she used to call this Cuban coffee. Um, I think it has like heavy cream and sugar in it. Unwind. This is a new like spa-ish oil from her. Lavender sage. Raspberry peach macaron. Raspberry peach macaron. Cranberry oak. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have plans for this one. Toasted marshmallow. Soleil Blanc. Uh, I have some samples from her in cedar leather. Bite Me. Uh, apricot and crushed mint. Nog Champa. Sea Minerals and Oud. Also do not underestimate this oil. Very good. Uh, Blue Hawaiian. Another Unwind. Snickers Coffee. Winter Citrus Wreath. Toasted Marshmallow. White Tea. Cherry Champagne Toast. Hazelnut Coffee. Just her plain espresso bomb. Another nutmeg and spice. I like that one a lot. Um, Lost Cherry, the Tom Ford type. She has a very good version of that. And Stargazer Lily. So those were just my cups in the last little two orders. And then I have this bin. And I, I might have more case somewhere, you guys, honestly. This bin is a mix of a bunch of samples, but like, 90% of it is K's. So let me just kind of throw some things around here. Uh, Sorel Lemon and Thyme, one of my faves. Mademoiselle, this is the um, Coco Chanel perfume type. Brood Jasmine, really nice. Mm, is this K's? Nope, nope, not K's. Um, flowering Cactus and Jade, Heaven. Another sample in Rosebud, Lavender, Lemon, holy cow, this is one of my favorite lavenders from her. Another Lavender Lemon, Cashmere Black, you guys. I love, I am loving that fragrance oil right now. Uh, Emerald Agave, very good. Heavenly Honeysuckle, clearly I love that one because I put it in a custom. Fraser Fur, English Garden, oh yes. Raindrops, bomb. Um, Winter Citrus Wreath, one I bought, really good. Turquoise, Orange Blossom. Uh, the Smell of Weather Turning, that's a Lush Dupe. Another Turquoise. Sorry guys. Blushing Orchid. Enter Sandman, another one of her fabulous nighttime blends. She makes great nighttime blends. Sex Bomb, another Lush type. Arugula. Cranberry Woods. Autumn Flannel, one of my favorites from her. Old World Christmas. Another Emerald Agave. Another Old World Christmas. That's the nice thing about K's is like, if you're feeling some Christmas at the time, you can buy Christmas. If you're feeling some fall at the time, you can buy fall. She has everything. Uh, Very Merry Cranberry. Another Enter Sandman. A uh, Palo Santo. She, and her Palo Santo, just so all you guys know, are, is not the cologne kind. It's the woody, smoky kind. The, the kind that I like. Fallen Leaves. Mm, one of my very favorite fall scents. Cuban coffee, which is now called regular coffee. Sea Island cotton. She has a very good version of that. Calla lily. Flowering cactus and jade. Downy clean breeze. 
clothespin. She has a fabulous clothespins oil, um, pipe smoke. That one leans quite cherry to me. Blackberry frankincense. I told you, you guys, this is like, it's everything to me. Love that one. Another Cuban coffee. A hazelnut coffee. Christmas past. Black currant absinthe, you guys. Black currant absinthe is one of the strongest oils in the wax world. Like this will blow your socks off. This is like an almost witchy, deep berry Halloween scent almost. It's really like spooky. It's amazing. Um, Irish linen. Nope. Another Sea Island cotton. Another clothespin. Heavenly Honeysuckle again, Rustic Oud, Iced Tea, I'm trying to dig through here, another Black Currant Absinthe, oh Plum Tart you guys, if you're new to the wax world, most older waxies we've smelled Plum Tart before, I do not care, I will never get sick of Plum Tart, not many vendors do this one anymore, but it's like it doesn't even need to be blended. It's perfection by itself. April Fresh. Did I get all of her samples out of here? All of her stuff. Oh, a little sample of Sunflower. Oh, Sunday Brunch. This is such a funny one. Um... Yeah, it's, it's very maple syrupy, but it also has like notes of bacon and waffles and all this kind of stuff in it. Just a plain zucchini bread from her. Really nice. A clover and aloe um, sample. And I think that's all my case. So I actually got through that faster than I thought. Oh. One more, one more. Another Very Merry Cranberry. <laughs> um, I didn't obviously go much into it, but um, I think I told you guys too in a past video that I went back and looked at my, because you you, can, you make an account on K-Scented Melts um, website, and I went back and looked at like my orders. I have probably ordered from K's over like almost 30 times over the last two years. If that doesn't tell you anything about how much I love her, and I continue to, no matter how many new vendors I discover and love, I continue to order from her because her wax is solid quality. You can get what you want anytime, customs any want anytime, you know, anything that you want. You can communicate with her anytime. She's just awesome. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to take a little bit longer. And I, I must have another freaking tub of K's somewhere, but that might be, that might be everything. Um, I've melted a ton of K's and I've shared a ton of K's as well with friends. So, um, anyways, I think that's my entire K's collection. If I find any more, I will let you know, but there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you're having a good day. Stay well. See you later. Bye.